Have you ever made vegan s'mores cookie bars? Well, come with me at Chatting with Chops, and we're going to make some today and taste how yummy they are. So the first thing we want to do is make our little graham cracker crust for our s'mores bars. And what I've done, here, let me pull y'all out a little bit here. What I've done is I've put um, a package of graham crackers, just one of the little sleeves, in a plastic bag, and I'm going to break them down so that they're a nice fine dust. You can use a food processor to do this if you want to, but I find that this is a little bit quicker and a little bit more therapeutic. Okay, so we've pretty much got our graham crackers down to a fine little dust. We've got a few big pieces in there, but that should be okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put this into my bowl. Good. You just want your butter to be able to absorb into it really well. Okay, and then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to melt a little bit of my butter. Okay. So I've got a little bit of melted butter here. I'm going to pour that in. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of brown sugar in here. I don't need a ton because the recipe will carry its own, you know, sweetness. So the crust doesn't really need a sweetness to it. I think I'm gonna have to add some more butter. This is looking a little too dry. Still looking a little bit dry to me. So I think I wanna add a little bit more butter. I've got a, probably another third of a cup here. I'm just going to add a little bit of it. We don't want it too terribly wet. We don't want it soggy. We're going to take our prepared 8x8 eight eight parchment covered glass container. And we're going to put our crumb coating in here. A little crumb crust. Press that down in. We're gonna be cooking the rest of the recipe, so I don't need to cook this crust just yet. All right, so we're ready to actually put together the s'mores cookie bars part of it. We've made our bottom crust, and now we're gonna make the bar part of it. So I've started preheating my oven at 350 degrees. We're going to whisk together our melted vegan butter. We have a half a cup of vegan melted butter we're putting in. And then we're gonna put in our brown sugar, which we have three fourths of a cup of brown sugar. Plop. And then we're gonna put in our vanilla, and I love vanilla bean paste. So we're gonna put a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste in here. It might be a little bit more. All right, and then we're gonna add our almond milk, which we have three tablespoons of almond milk that we're adding. So this is a fully vegan recipe, so you can use your different kinds of um, vegan milk that you want to, but that's just one that I prefer. All right, we're gonna whisk this together. Got that all nice and smooth and incorporated. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our one and three-fourths cups of flour. Okay. And then we're going to add our baking powder, which we have a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're going to add our salt, which is over here somewhere. We have a fourth of a teaspoon of salt that we're going to add in. And then we're going to, it says to mix this with a wooden spoon, so I guess we need a little bit more oomph for this. So the next thing we need to do, go ahead and put some of this in our baking dish. So that is really thick. It said you need to use your hands to kind of spread it out a little bit. I'm trying 
trying to just gently do it because I don't want to mess up my graham cracker part at the bottom. Okay, I just need a tiny bit more for this corner over here. You see, it's almost the thickness of a cookie, cookie dough before you bake them. Okay, all right, now we're gonna take about a cup of our vegan chocolate chips and we're gonna sprinkle them over the all that chocolate around in the edges too. All right, that looks really good. I think I've got a little bit more left over from my bag. I think I'm just gonna sprinkle those a little bit. So you can use a little bit more chocolate should you choose to. This is the brand of marshmallows that I can find locally. Uh, I believe they say there's a Trader's Trader Joe's brand as well, but I don't have a Trader Joe's close to me. So Dandy's is the one that I find most often at one grocery store here in my town, but we're gonna be using an entire bag. So it's 10 ounces of marshmallows. So I'm just, I'm using the mini ones as you can see, and I'm just gonna sprinkle those over the top of my chocolate chips. This is gonna be a tall one. These are gonna be nice thick bars. Okay. I don't think with this type of recipe, I would recommend using the little babies. If you use the big marshmallows like you would for s'mores on a campfire, then you'd have to probably cut them down a little bit. We're gonna put the rest of our cookie dough on top of this, which this is just really thick. I think I'm gonna just try and, oops, drop this in little spots so I can spread it out a little bit more in a minute. All right, let's see if we can get this kind of spread out a little bit. Which I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this because the marshmallows are going to want to pull up big time, but... As you can see, I'm just trying to gently spread out these little dough balls that I've put randomly around. I'm not sure if perhaps my cookie dough is a little too thick. Again, I've never made this recipe before, so I don't know. There doesn't appear to be a picture, so that's the fun of winging it on printing recipes off the internet. I'm sure they turned out fantastic when the person that made the recipe did them, but... Who knows about me? Okay, so we've got a few little marshmallows peeking out. Now what we wanna do is we're gonna sprinkle the rest of our chocolate chips on the top of this. Okay, well that just looks yummy. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes until everything looks nice and golden brown and yummy to eat. So there we go. Fresh out of the oven nice and golden brown and all nice and melty. So we're gonna let this sit for at least 10 minutes in the pan just to cool off a little bit. So it's been sitting in the glass pan for 10 minutes to just cool off really good and now we're gonna take it out with the parchment paper and put it on our cooling rack to let it cool completely before we try cutting them. There you have it. So I will tell you from picking these up, you can't really tell, but they are very dense. It is a good, solid s'more brownie cake. Um, all right, so let's see, or brownie bars or s'more bars. Let's see if I can cut into these 
without making too huge a mess. Oh my goodness, that's nice and ooey gooey. Look at that, that is just gorgeous. All right, let's see if we can cut a bar or two for our plate here. That is just absolutely gorgeous. The different levels, look at that. You can see just the beautifully even layers of the graham cracker crust, and then you see the nice cookie dough, and then the beautiful vegan chocolate chips, and then you've got the vegan marshmallow, and more cookie dough, and more chocolate at the top. That is just gorgeous. We really, really have done a good job on these. Mm. All right, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll keep making beautiful bakes for you guys. Catch you on the next bake.